All right, this is another resilience video. <clears throat> so you can cut it off right now if you don't want to hear about the steps and the moves and the things that I'm doing to get ready for the coming financial crisis. I uh, had another video up. I had to take it down. Uh, won't give you the reason why. But uh, we just put in this uh, new... Uh, I say we, my wife was totally against it because uh, the previous hot water heater was 20 years old. And uh, it had uh, about this much sediment in it. And uh, I was wasting a lot of electricity. Plus, I was paying Duke Energy uh, $6 a month um, to insure it because I expected it to fail at any second. Uh, you know, hot water heaters don't usually last more than 13 years. And that one had made it almost 21 years. Um, so anyway, I felt it was important to, to be proactive rather than reactive. Plus, I could cancel that insurance policy because I got a 12-year. Be sure and get, this is the A.O. Smith Signature Premier from Lowe's. <clears throat> you know, if you do get a new hot water heater, you know, make sure you get the 12-year warranty. Uh, don't skimp. I mean, if you think about it, this, I mean, it, it sounds like a lot of money, but uh, this was $1,500. $1, that's it. That's permit. That's installed. That's uh, that's uh, everything. Plus, it took two guys four hours to get that other hot water heater out and put this one in. So it was well worth it. Uh, just uh, the other thing is, you know, I I've talked about this in previous videos, but I replaced. Used to have a step ladder. I bought this this ladder here. It's called the little uh, little giant. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what that thing is awesome. It even has a handle that comes up so that you can balance on it. I use it to, to work on the cars. Um, <clears throat> you know, we got this this old golf cart. Uh, this is called a par car. And uh, you say, well, man, why would you buy a 2000 golf cart? Well, this doesn't have all this newfangled electronics on it, so it makes it pretty easy to work on. Now, these batteries right here were 15, well, about $1,200, okay? But, but these are the cat daddies, you know? These are the inter interstate batteries. And uh, you can go about uh, 80 to 100 miles just on those batteries. Now, what am I doing to the golf cart? I got, uh, well, you can see this tire. Look at this tire right here. Okay. There's very little tread on it. Uh, in fact, one of them was going uh, going um, flat on me. And uh, we used a re repair kit to get it repaired. But, you know, why, why am I going to keep those tires? I went up to... Um, e-trailer that's uh, e-trailer.com you can go there and uh, new tires for this thing are 35 bucks are you stupid <laughs> you know, I mean, what, 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 why aren't you gonna why wouldn't you get new tires for 35 bucks I mean why do you, you want to be out on the golf course and have the tire go flat again you know I mean that's just and then have to pay somebody to tow the cart back to your house I mean 35 bucks now the front tires look pretty good you can see right here uh, you know, these got some tread left on them. They'll, they'll last a long time. Uh, you know, and, and and I've certainly talked a lot, a lot, a lot about the, the motorcycle, but I'm getting 100 miles to the gallon. Now, am I taking the motorcycle to the park today? No, because there's a chance of rain. And uh, you really just cannot ride this thing in the rain. I mean, even with the helmet on, that, wa that water hitting you at 55 miles an hour just beats you to death. And you know, one big, big gripe I have about this ADV and the Honda ADV 150 is this little screen here. See, I, I never even, I mean, they, they, they brag about the fact that it can go up and down. I, I, I just, I leave it up. I mean, I get buffeted by the wind with it up. And it needs to be bigger if, it, if they brought that screen up a bit, you know, then taking it down would make sense. But uh, just having it, you know, with, with the two settings and having this little screen, it don't do squat, man. You just get... You know, you, you get beat up at about 60 miles an hour on this thing. And, uh, and of course, people are laughing at me because I put this reflective tape on here. But, uh, we, you know, I'm in a retirement community, man. There's, you know, this is the villages, Florida. <clears throat> and I don't want, you know, these old people, that <laughs> they can't drive, man, a lot of them. And so, you know, I wanted it to be as visible as I could make it. Now, check this out. I, you know, this is the new carrier. Look at the storage that I've got down in there. And look at the storage I got underneath the seat. And that's why I went with the scooter. You know, they call it a scooter. I call it a motorcycle. Um, but it was mainly for the gas mileage. And uh, and it's fun. I tell you, it's fun. And then I, I got this Ram mount quick rip right here for the phone. 
Now I was putting the phone underneath here, but I, I carry a weight with me when I go hiking because uh, I like to give my upper body a workout. And uh, so <clears throat> the weight scratched my, my brand new phone. This is the, the Samsung. I mean, it, this is a $1,200 phone, you know, so I, to scratch it up was just silly. Now I keep a spare gas supply right here for the motorcycle. I didn't used to fill those up because I didn't want gas in my garage because uh, that's, you know, fire hazard. But uh, but since, since I got the motorcycle, you know, it only takes two gallons. It's almost stupid to pull, in, <laughs> pull into a gas station every now and then and, and fill it up. Uh, let's uh, just swing around. <clears throat> now this is, this is the UPS power supply that I bought, the Cat Daddy, <clears throat> you know. Uh, 700 bucks now that's that's gonna be I got to ship the old one back but let's just come around to the backyard here <clears throat> I'll show you how the garden is doing real quick uh, as you can see the growing season is here in Florida this bush is starting to take off that's gonna be a beautiful bush uh, when it blooms and everything I'll get a get a picture of it <clears throat> that's going to be awesome look at these tomato plants they're trees man <laughs> my tomato plants are doing great well, of course there's no tomatoes on them uh yet so i don't know uh i'm hoping well like yeah there's there's some tomatoes right here you can see uh so should we get a lot of cherry tomatoes now what happened here was i'm, I'm learning as i go these are my pepper plants and uh, you can see one died back here and uh, all the seeds. Now I had the seeds. I, I don't know if I got bad advice. I had the seeds in the freezer, and uh, to to preserve them. But they were over a year old, and that's what Lisa told me. She said, "Well, they're, if they're over a year old, they're probably not going to grow." Well, nothing, you know. So what what I'm doing now is I'm spending the extra money. These are three dollars a piece at Lowe's, and uh, so I'm going to put these in where the where the seeds are. And uh, hopefully these plants will grow. These are peppers, and uh, I can't remember um, what else. And uh, and you can see that the cucumber plant here is doing real well, but something's been chewing on it. Um, I'm not sure if these are weeds or, or seeds sprouting, but I think they're just weeds. So I'm going to be planting there. So anyway, we're, we're knocking it out one thing at a time. This is another bush that just doesn't seem to want to do much, but... Uh, this is a backyard. I mean, I pretty much framed all this in and, and put it all in. And uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, the, the, the problem is if you look right here, there's a sprinkler line underneath here. And I think these uh, bushes are going to get too big and those roots are going to grow down into the sprinkler lines. And so I shouldn't have done this. But I got tired of just looking at that ugly ass fence. So I was trying to kind of cover it up with some, some landscaping. You know, some of this I did not plant. I mean, I didn't plant that, and I didn't plant that, and I didn't plant that. That was all here before I moved in. So, and uh, boy, you get, uh, these trees can be somewhat dangerous. You know, here's a big stick that falls off of these trees, but man, in the summertime, they give me the shade. So anyway, I'm gonna get on to the park. I got my weight that I'm gonna lift. Uh, if it doesn't rain and I get back uh, from my workout, I'm going to put these plants in the ground uh, and uh, you can see I got one pepper plant doing real real well should get some jalapenos off of that here's one uh, there's a jalapeno on this one um, you know it's all about resilience folks uh, you got to get yourself prepared uh, you know my wife she's bragging about her her tomato plant this is her her project right here I <laughs> I think isn't that hilarious it's got two straws down in there <laughs> and a stick with the well, well she does have some tomatoes on there so I, I, I told her she'd just kill it she kills everything you know I mean uh, she'll buy a plant and, and have it and that's another thing you do want plants inside your house to filter that air and you know give you oxygen another thing that you can do <clears throat> I don't have a lot of plants in my house because I just don't take care of them I'm, I'm, a, I'm having a hard time as you can see just having a garden out, of, out back here uh, and then of course you know that we talked about this in the past too I got this rain barrel uh, this is the part, more part of it. That 50 gallon uh, water tank is an emergency water supply. Okay, I did, that's why I didn't go with the tankless water heater. Uh, that and the expense. And this, this rain barrel is also an emergency water supply. Okay, that's 50 gallons. And what I do is in between storms, when it's nice and dry, I move, 
I use the rain barrel to water in the plants and, and this hose reel, you know, I have to take the hose off to, to get the water out. So that's uh, something, looks like this got bent there. Wow, don't know what happened there. All right, so uh, we're knocking it out one thing at a time. Just trying to show you what I'm doing. Uh, you know, the silver squeeze is still on, you know, so I do. Uh, I, keep, I keep hearing uh, on YouTube that the uh, physical silver is getting rare. And, uh, you know, they can suppress that price with the futures contracts and the shorts and all of that stuff. Only for so long, people. Only for so long. You know, when you look at Bitcoin that went from uh, zero or five dollars back in 2015 to sixty-five thousand dollars today, uh, and silver is basically the same price it was in 2015, just uh, well, about ten ten dollars more than what it was selling for. So you can see that there's a long ways to run on that position uh, in gold and platinum. Uh, I think all. You, don't think you're going to go wrong with the three. I mean, you have missed the boat in that you didn't get in at the cheapest price. Uh, and silver's up today. Uh, I notice it's uh, back over almost up to 26 again. You know, so it's fluctuating between 24 to 20, 28, right in that price range. I think that's uh, that price is going to hold until the next run. Uh, and then that could be the big one. All right. Well, you know, and you can see I got the mulch here. That I'm going to put down uh, to suppress the weeds. Uh, you can see right here, see those weeds coming up. So, you know, I don't want to. You don't want to be out here in the summertime in Florida because, it, man, the humidity and the uh, the mosquitoes back here because of these trees. It stays moist back here, and man, I tell you, you get eaten alive. Uh, you know, just just coming back here to, to pick the vegetables is going to be painful. I have to probably have to put bug netting on. <laughs> you know, I just as long as you come out in the middle of the day, the bugs aren't too bad. Now you can see, look, something's been digging right there. Hmm. You know, I, I got to probably have to get some chicken wire for this uh, at some point. But uh, I got to, you know, until I get some some vegetables growing off of them. And, and see the damage that the the uh, rabbits and everything are doing for the squirrels too then uh, we'll see all right you guys uh, peace out um, just uh, getting ready to go for a hike uh, enjoy the last look at the tomatoes and uh, we'll talk again soon oh shoot for, for the video I forgot to uh, to mention uh, another important thing that you need to do uh, is that uh, I detail the hell out of these cars it usually takes me sometimes two or three days of work uh, to get them ready for the summertime because one of them does have to sit out in the sunlight. Luckily, I have this tree right here, and if I, if I move the vehicle over under the tree, it gets shaded in the summertime. It's just hard to remember to move it every single time. Um, what do I do to detail it? I, I, uh, I scrub the tires. I scrub the rims. Uh, I, I'm telling you, let's go in the garage again real quick. <clears throat> just show you some of the tire or the car supplies that I keep uh, this is uh, leather treatment those are leather seats in that uh, Sonata uh, real important to treat that leather otherwise it dries out and it cracks on you this is called uh, paint protect okay uh, 365 days worth of durability I, and I cannot dispute that I just I do it twice a year um, and then what I do is I spray on, well, this is the tire shine, Turtle Wax tire shine. I prefer, well, that's glass cleaner. And here's a Teflon carpet, an upholstery cleaner, and of course you got your Rain-X bug remover. And then I was going to show you what I do is after I uh, put the paint protect on the car, I use this Turtle Wax Express shine, uh, and I spray that on the windows. Uh, the advantage of, of waxing the windows uh, and of course I do it on the, the some of the car too. I'm not really worried about it It's mainly the paint protect that I want to get on everything and this is great also not just for the uh, uh, The paint you can also use it on the uh, the parts of the car that uh, are plastic You know and it protects those too and I get underneath the hood and I pop the uh, trunk and I get underneath the trunk um, and then I use this silicon spray to uh, lubricate all of the the doors and uh, and then spray it on the hoses under in underneath the hood to keep those from getting weathered and cracking and uh, and then you know you can use armor on 
I don't I, I don't like armor all as much as I prefer using the 303 protectant uh, this is all the it says the ultimate UV protection interior and exterior and then you can read the rest uh, I, I prefer that over the armor all but this has a, a freshening smell uh, that my wife likes uh, so she likes the car to smell fresh so I just put a little bit of this in there and then I just lather everything up with the protectant except the leather seats <clears throat> and then uh, when I take the spare tire out I use some Vaseline on all the bolts so that uh, you, you can always break them free to get that uh, spare tire then of course you're gonna that's another thing when you're detailing the cars is check the tire pressure check the pressure on the spare uh, and then of course you know put this per protectant on the spare uh, before you put it back in to keep that from uh, weathering and cracking uh, you know and then of course you're checking all the fluids but most of the time you don't have to do anything uh, but uh, always you're going to need the uh, um, windshield wiper fluid that's what that is it says bug remover I didn't I didn't want to buy the good stuff this is three dollars but the uh, the cheap stuff is now two 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 forty or something so hell I said well 50 cents more I got got the rain x bug remover so, uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to show you, this is that reflective tape. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to put more on my bike rack because uh, I have been rear-ended in that car. Like I said, the old people around here can't drive. Um, so uh, I would show you that, but I don't want to get my license plate in the video. And uh, that's it. Uh, you know, so it's, this is why it takes so long to detail that car. Okay, and of course, you're going to vacuum the hell out of it. And I bought a new vacuum cleaner that my wife was against uh, uh, because the old one busted, you know. And, I, um, and so she's like, well, you can use that shop vac right there. Well, that shop vac is great for the shop or when I'm doing cuts with a miter saw or something like that, getting sawdust. But it's not good for vacuuming out the cars. I mean, it just it, you just can't get in the nooks and crannies. You need a real nice... And, and, and what vacuum cleaner did I buy? I bought that uh, My, Milar. I, I, my, I can't remember the name of it. But uh, you have to spend the money. I mean, that was another expensive item, 700 But I tell you what, man, it just sucks everything up. It's awesome. And uh, I see my sprinklers are on, and we're getting ready to get rain, so I can cut these off, save, save water. Uh, all right, I guess that's about it. I, I keep this little thing here. This is great for stepping up to get the top of the car. And I keep all my automotive supplies in here. <clears throat> like you said, you see the garage is trashed because I'm working on stuff. Um, the, uh, this wood is, uh, there's is another thing, okay, here, I, I've been putting wood up in the attic for storage, and I've been buying, buying, buying anything that I can think of, you know, I, I think I talked about this, this is a cross step ladder, I used to have a rickety old, uh, step ladder that it, that I fell off of and about killed myself, and I said, to hell with this, man, so I bought this thing, this is great for getting up and, uh, scrubbing down the, the gutters, because, uh, I used to pay somebody to come out and do that for me. Um, but now I can do it myself, you know, um, do I, in, but I do want to still pay somebody. Yeah. Yeah. About once a year, but I can do it myself at the half year mark and get it all done. All right. So, uh, that's enough for this video. All right. Have a good one. People get yourselves prepared, prepare for the coming financial crisis.